Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this, and I've almost just steered them to a, another logo because I just did one on this today on double lines. But there's more problems than just double lines with this drawing. As you can see, there's two lines there. There's two lines everywhere. And one way you can test it, there is one, two, three, four, five items here. Well, if you select them, you've got 10 items. So you could manually go through here and delete one item. But if you forget one, you're gonna have the same problem. So one thing, I'm guessing they're gonna cut this out because they uh, got stencil type fonts. Well, you need to do one for the D and for the N because when the N cuts out, it's just gonna fall out. The D is just gonna fall out. And the way you can kind of always do that, he has a box around it. Take the smart fill tool and fill it in. The interior parts that don't get the smart fill are going to completely fall out. So you need to create, he did a really good job of creating the stencil, but just always test your letters. That's the only two I see is that and sign, because it's just going to fall out and you're just going to have the and looking mark and the D is just going to fall out. So the way to get rid of all the double lines this thing is 34 inches, so we're going to set our nudge factor on 40. And we're just going to use a smart fill tool and fill in that line and just nudge it over. I'm using the right arrow key on the keyboard. Now, you're going to have to do this for each letter. But this way, you know you've got everything because it's going to be over there, and you'll get to see what it looks like. And like I said, the D is going to fall out. I'm going to have to zoom in here a little bit so I can see the smart fill tool working. It's, I'm nudging it with the right arrow key. So I've got just one finger on it. I'm just looking at the screen and moving my mouse and moving the right. And I don't have to do all this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it all. And we're almost done. So the, the and sign, you can actually probably pick another and sign that doesn't have the loops in it instead of doing a stencil font. But this way you you won't have, I might have, I might have done that A twice. I always like to be able to see it when I nudge it, but you can always check that out. And I missed some letters. Um, I must have missed the N and I must have missed the N again. Either that or that or it, I double clicked on it. So, what we can do now is take this and left click, right click. I like to do my hairlines. You can make sure everything is a hairline. And the way we can kind of prove it, I'm going to get rid of our border right now. And I'm going to select this and I've got 150 objects. So if it worked, I've only got 75 or really 49. So some of these are even more than double lines, 150 objects. So if we counted the object, there would be 49. And then these are all just one single line. There won't be any double lines. That's the way I would do it. And I think it's probably the best way. But just remember, you're gonna to need to stencil that and stencil that. You did a good job on the O and the R, P, I like those. The A, that's a good place to put the A. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit.